Hey guys, in the fast lane here. Today we're going to be talking about how to bring batteries back to life. Now, what I'm going to be working on today is this battery right here, this small one, is a John Light battery, and it came out of this flashlight or floodlight. It's a 2.5 million candlelight power. Uh, it's dead, it's not taking a charge. I've already tested it with the multimeter and it absolutely has no voltage whatsoever. Now I also have this battery right here which is an Interstate, it's a Megatron 2, it's 845 cranking amps. Uh, brought it back to life with the OptiMate 6. The OptiMate 6 has a save mode where it desulfates after 15 minutes, then it switches to charging mode and then when it gets to 20% remaining it starts flashing letting you know it's the last 20% of the battery needs to be charged. So it's a really nice product. It runs about $100, a little less than $100 shipped. Um, I've tried three other batteries. It didn't work with them, but they were too sulfated. So when it was hitting them with the desulfator, the uh, cells themselves were rusted out pretty bad, and it just wasn't taking a charge. So we're, let's get started. So here's how you use the OptiMate 6. It's 100% self-charging. It does it all by itself. You don't even have to watch it. So the first thing I'd like to point out is, once you plug it in, it'll have a green light. It can't spark itself. It has a built-in microprocessor, so it knows which way the leads are touching or what they're touching. Also, say I put the negative on the positive, which I'm going to do right now, and I put the positive on the negative. It has a light, a safety light, and it doesn't emit any voltage through those clips. So now I unplug them or unclip them, then I clip them on the right way. It's telling me that this battery is 100% charged with a green light. Now it'll go do still a little bit of charge, it'll check on it, it's testing it right now, but it's telling me that it's 100%. It skipped the desulfate process. When this light lights up right here, it says save, it's desulfating. And then these little lights right here, this is one amp, and in between there is anywhere from one to four amps, and then when the third light lights up in the middle that's five amps it's pushing to the battery and right now you see that it's on this side the light that means it's charging it says it right there when it's done it'll do a test a 12 or 24 hour test to make sure the battery's good and then that's it it turns itself off now it has like I said a microprocessor and what it does is when it gets towards the end of charging it starts flashing this light telling you that there's only 20 percent left of the battery to charge so once that happens, it actually starts to fluctuate the voltage. It'll go from 14.5 volts or so, it'll shoot it up and then it'll drop it down and then it'll shoot it up and it'll keep doing that process until it feels that it's 100% charged. It'll run tests, test with it through the microprocessor. Also, this is a diagnostic, desulfating, charger and a tester all in one. It's a great product. It also comes with other leads. So if you have a battery, that just has the kind of leads where they screw in, that's fine. It plugs right in in the middle right here, and that's it. So it's a great product. It also comes with a manual, OptiMate 6 manual. It tells you all the specifications of what the LEDs do and stuff. So go ahead, you can read through that. This product right here is under $100. I picked it up on eBay for around $86, something like that, shipped. So it's a good product. This battery's done. I don't have to charge it anymore. It's already meeting its uh, specifications. So that's done. Now we're gonna look at this battery right here. And this little battery right here, it's a John Light, and it's a 12 volt battery. Now this is a 12 volt charger. So it does. this also does gel cells and obviously uh, lead acid batteries, which is what this one is. So this one right here, I haven't charged it yet, but we'll go ahead and uh, check out what it's looking like here. Now, as I told you before, this battery came out of this flashlight. And pretty much, uh, if you got a flashlight, I'm sure you'll figure out how to open it up and get to the battery. It's, it's just, it's pretty hollow in there. Just a couple screws and, you know, you unplug it and that's about it. So this battery right here is deader than a doornail. I tried charging it with the actual uh, charger wall charger, the DC charger for the actual uh, flashlight itself, but it left it on for a couple hours and it did absolutely nothing. So as you can see right here, the voltage is just scrambling, meaning it's just, uh, there's no voltage in there, it's just open circuit. 
Now hopefully this cell isn't dead and blown up or whatever, but we'll find out here in a minute. We're gonna hook it up to the OptiMate 6 and see what happens. All right, so this is the very first time I've ever let this OptiMate 6 touch this battery. So I don't know what's gonna happen as much as you guys don't know. So let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna just touch the clips to it, negative to negative and positive to positive. And from what I'm seeing is absolutely nothing. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing this battery is completely shot. The actual inside kind of split apart the lead so it's not making any kind of contact. Wow, that's pretty surprising. So at least this tells me when I was looking at the multimeter, it was actually showing me that it had an open circuit when it was scrambling like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.